Hi friend, this is Pick Fun Medicoses. Hope you will be fine. Please subscribe my channel for latest medical videos. My motto is medicine should be interesting. Today our topic is Benedict syndrome. Here we go. Benedict syndrome or paramedian midbrain syndrome. <clears throat> it occurs due to the occlusion of posterior cerebral artery. The occlusion of the posterior cerebral artery will lead to the necrosis of the midbrain tissue. And following structures will be involved third nerve nucleus, red nucleus, corticospinal tract, superior cerebral peduncles, and substantia nigra. This is the cross section of the midbrain at the level of the superior colliculus. This is the anterior portion, and this is the posterior portion. This is tectum, this portion is tectum, this portion is tegmentum, and this portion is basis containing the uh, cross cerebri, corticobulbar fibers and corticospinal fibers. These structures are the superior colliculi. This is cerebral aqueduct and this area is periaqueductal gray matter. These are lemniscae. This is the Edinger Westphal nucleus of the third cranial nerve. This is the red nucleus. This is substantia nigra. And this is the crust cerebri containing the corticobulbar fibers and corticospinal fibers. This is the third nerve. And this is the posterior cerebral artery. So, Benedict syndrome occurs due to the occlusion of the perforating branches of the posterior cerebral artery and following structures are involved. Third nerve, red nucleus, corticospinal fibers and substantia nigra. These structures are involved in the Benedict syndrome. So this is the combination of Weber and Claude syndrome. So in Benedict syndrome, third nerve is involved, red nucleus is involved, corticospinal tracts, superior cerebral peduncle and substantia nigra. These structures are involved in Benedict syndrome and clinical findings will be ipsilateral third nerve palsy. There will be the dilated, fixed dilated pupil, there will be the ptosis and there will be the ophthalmoplegia and there will be contralateral hemiplegia due to the involvement of the corticospinal tracts and there will be the contralateral cerebral ataxia due to the involvement of the superior cerebral peduncle and due to the involvement of the substantia nigra there will be the hemichoria and athetosis so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for latest medical updates for latest who guidelines for latest fda approvals for latest colorful medical mnemonics for usmle high yield points for harrison lectures and for Davidson lectures. Thanks for watching.